So I took a look at the business and thought, you know, maybe, maybe this is my how I'm to escape the rat race. Maybe if I just got started with this, it would start creating an extra stream of makeup. Now, was it easy? Because remember, I had a full-time career. I had a little two little girls, five and two, ages five and two. And now I added a part-time business into the mix. Was it easy? No, it was very challenging. It required persistence. It required commitment. Now there's three levels of commitment. And some of you are in the whole-based business industry, so you'll be able to relate to this. The first level of commitment is, I'll try. Well, when you say, I try, when I have people join my team, they say, I try. What that means to me is they're going to go talk to their three best friends, and they're going to get no, no, and no, and they're going to quit, and then they're going to say, Sheila, it doesn't work. Right? Okay, we can relate to that. Well, my, my level of commitment was the next level, was I will do my best. And the people who do their best generally make a pretty good income, and, and you know, they're reasonably successful. That was my level of commitment until I had cosmic 2 by 4 hit me between the eyes. Now, let me take you back there. That was 19 years ago now. 19 years ago was a January night. It was cold, but it kind of warm for January. I was working on a proposal for digital equipment for a potential customer for our major conversion project. So I was at home on my big laptop computer, worked till 11 o'clock at night. I decided I was going to go to bed. I was pretty tired. I looked out the window, and it was raining. Raining in January, that's really unusual. I thought, okay, this is not good, not good. I went to bed, I got four hours of sleep, because I, I have to get up, for, like, you have to get this proposal done, right? I can't hold this, okay. Got four hours of sleep, woke up, looked out the window at three o'clock in the morning, beautiful, white, fresh, fluffy, glistening snow. The snow was like diamonds glistening off the moonlight. Beautiful, but deadly. Because I live in Bozerger. I had to drive to Winnipeg. Drive to Winnipeg on black ice with fresh snow on top. So I finished off the proposal. I knew this wasn't going to be good. So I got all my stuff together, got my car around 7 o'clock in the morning. The proposal had to be at the customer 12 noon, hard copies. Because back then you couldn't email it. This is like 10 years ago. This is kind of cool compared to today. So I get in the car, strap this on, but what's complicated, I'm five and a half months pregnant. So I put the seatbelt underneath my belly, grabbed onto that steering wheel, white knuckle driving down Highway 44, turning onto Highway 59, driving on Highway 59, getting over the floodway bridge by Spring Hill, and then the car started sliding this way, and then this way and this way, and before I know it, I was going sideways into the ditch. And I remember the snow piling up on my windows, and then I remember the car rolling and rolling. The window, some window smashed out, I put glass in my face, and then snow in my face. I remember the car sliding on its car hood, and then it was quiet. I was upside down in my car, smashed out windows, thinking, Okay, I'm alive, but I better get out of here because maybe the car will start on fire. So I got out of there, and I realized, oh, I've got to get my purse, I've got to get my cell phone, I've got to get the, the proposal out of my you know, laptop. So I pulled that in there, got there, checked everything out, had cut my knees, there was blood running on my knees, and, and before I knew it, the ambulance was there, and there was cars and sirens, and they rushed me off to the hospital, because when it was complicated, because I was five and a half months pregnant. So when they found that out, they were like, went crazy. They got me to the hospital, they got me into the observation room, they did an ultrasound, they said, the baby's good. The baby's okay, you're okay, it's a miracle. You basically walked away with a couple scratches on your knees. That's it. It's unbelievable how you walked out of this car unscathed. So they said, we have to keep you in for 24 hours because you might miscarriage. So they got me into some room and I had to stay there and they, as they observed me. And I looked at my watch and I thought, oh no. One o'clock. I missed the deadline. The deadline was 12 noon. So I missed the deadline. So what happened then? I called the customer. I said, hey, customer, you wouldn't believe what happened. I live in Bozeshire. I had to drive on this ice. I ended up rolling my car. I'm five months pregnant. I'm in the hospital. They won't let me out of the hospital. I'm sorry I missed the deadline, but can you extend it to Monday morning at 9 a.m.? And you know what he said? No. He 
said no. He said, sorry, you missed the deadline. Too bad. What? Yeah. Wow. Boom. Lost like two by four. Number two between the eyes. Wow. I just about killed myself, killed my unborn child, racing for you, Mr. Customer, to give you the best proposal so that you can save money and have a conversion and all you say is no. Okay, something's got to change here. And at that point, I made this next level of commitment, level of commitment to get to, to do whatever it was going to take to get to my home-based business level to six-figure income before the baby was going to be born. So I went to work. So to get to this goal director level, you have to qualify for four weeks. So I was eight months pregnant. Four more weeks to go before the baby comes. Week one, I qualified for goal director. Great. Week two, I qualified for goal director. Week three, I qualified for goal director. Week four was the last week, and the baby was due. Wednesday, I started going to labor. I checked my volumes. wasn't wasn't going to make it. There, there was a long ways. So I thought, okay, I've come this far. I got to do this for my family. I I want to get out of the rat race, I want to be at home, I want to raise my family, I want to have a more balanced life, I'm just going to start calling people. So in between contractions, I was calling people. Driving to the hospital.